What's up, people? It's your boy Tone, and I'm gonna do a unboxing on a blood pressure monitor machine. Uh, in store, it's about 35, 40 bucks, maybe. And uh, I'm doing this because I have high blood pressure, and uh, not that the world needs to know or even cares, but there are a lot of people who have high blood pressure and uh, they don't even know it <clears throat> and that's a problem because you have people who are falling over dead at the age of you know, 40 years old, 35, some at the age of 20 and uh, they don't know it. Now high blood pressure is it, a lot of African American males are known to have high blood pressure because, or African American excuse me, period, but uh, a, a lot of high blood pressure is known to be in African American males because, you know, we don't take care of our bodies to be sure, so on and so forth when they hear preach. Nonetheless, uh, I was an athlete. <clears throat> I said that to say this. I, I ate pretty good. I didn't eat a lot of food that, you know, involved high blood pressure. I watched what I ate. I wasn't a vegan or anything, but, you know, but I exercised a lot of exercise on my life. I used to run track. And basically, uh, I ran track all the way up until, well, I ran. I ran the mile. So I ran the mile uh, in, in, uh, competitively. So I ran like a 426 mile uh, road mile. I ran like a 455 road mile. So I was in shape all the way up until I hit just about 38, 39. Then my mile time started slowing down. It started getting into like the five twenties and then in the six minutes and things along that. Uh, nonetheless, but I noticed myself. Uh, I noticed my blood pressure uh, 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 just going sky high, and I exercise a lot, so it can happen to anybody. Even if you're healthy, so on and so forth, it can happen to you. Is my point. Uh, but I was told at 31 that I had high blood pressure because. Uh, and I didn't know why, so it ran in my family, so on and so forth, even though I was pretty healthy. And uh, just to add on to that, uh, at the time I did get high blood pressure, like I said, I was 31, I was still competing. I had a resting heart rate of 44. So I was in really good shape. I was only maybe 220 pounds. Uh, I was, you know, bench pressing, nothing spectacular, but I was in shape. I was bench pressing. You know, so around 295, you know, I was in shape. I swam, so on and so forth, but I still got it. Nonetheless, so I went and bought one of these. Right now, I'm in my 40s. I went and got one of these, and uh, because the doctor said I need to monitor my blood pressure, I'm not going to use it today in front of everybody, but I am going to go ahead and uh, show you what's in it. And I'm doing this because I want people to start taking care, more care of themselves and uh, if you think you have high blood pressure, uh, go on YouTube, figure out how to, you know, you know, look at your uh, love dub, look at your high, high blood pressure, and uh, uh, or your or take your blood pressure, ask your doctor, so on and so forth, and they're probably gonna recommend uh, one of these life source uh, blood pressure monitor. So, so like I said, it's about thirty-five bucks. Okay, I'm gonna look at the contents. It's gonna come into a come in a nice little bag there. What I mean, life source. Boom. It's a nice little handy bag. It's not waterproof, but it's you know. I don't know why any water would get near this, but nonetheless, it's a pretty cool bag to have. Put yeah. this down. And okay, so you gotta have your. Oh, I'm sorry. Got one of my batteries. Okay, so you're gonna have your plastic bag. It's gonna have the item that wraps around your arm, and uh, this comes in three different sizes. And uh, so there's a measurement you have to take whether you're small, medium, or large. Guys, don't do this. Don't get the big one because you you because it wraps around your biceps. Don't get the big one if you don't have 
larger biceps. There's a way to measure, uh, and, and pretty much my biceps are like 14 uh, inches around, which is not very big. It's normal size. I'm a normal size guy, uh, so on and so forth. And uh, so this is going to be my size. This is a me. So uh, it has the ring here that helps you wrap around your arms, so on and so forth. And here is the plastic. You guys have seen this before. Uh, Velcros like so, so on and so forth. And let's see. Here's the instructions on how to go ahead and do so. And there's your size right there. So if you're looking right there, there's your size, 414, so on and so forth. And uh, when you do put this on, you're gonna put this so where uh, the tube here is gonna be right on your inner bicep. So it's gonna be right here. So your arm is gonna be turned up and it's gonna be right along here. Like I said, ask your doctor. I'm not a doctor, I am not a nurse. I'm only telling you what they have told me on how to use this. So. Uh, you can go out and get yourself one of these, ask your doctor, ask your nurse, ask somebody who is a professional. I am not a professional. I just, uh, my doctor gave me one of these and this is what they told me and I thought it'd be important. To relay some of this information to the very few who, who will actually look at this. Okay, so there's that, comes with a tube. Of course, this is where you know the air is going to flow through when it pops up. I'm going to put this to the side here. All right. And here is your uh, here's a machine here. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty small. Uh, definitely light. Um, yeah. So basically, your tube, your air tube here. It's gonna go right into the side. It's gonna go right here. Boom. And uh, it takes four uh, AA batteries. That's actually gonna come with it. These batteries actually came with this. AA, I got four of them, came with it. Uh, this also plugs in. So this, this also plugs in, just in case. The batteries are left. Okay. So it's also plugged in. Boom, we got that. Okay, I'll get back to this in just a second. And just put this in here and show you what else it comes with. Uh, like I said, it comes with four batteries. So you will get your batteries right off the start. Battery down here. And uh, let's see what else it comes with. This is not a fancy video, this is just, just a video. Uh, it's also going to come with your life source instructions. And uh, please go through this when you get it. I know some people just like to think that they know because they are who they are and they're smart, so on and so forth, but please go ahead and look at this, look at the how-to, the directions, so on and so forth. Because what you don't want to do is get your readings wrong. And if you're getting your readings wrong and it's saying that your blood pressure is low when it's really high, the next thing you know, you're uh, having some problems uh, that are related to high blood pressure and you're telling yourself, oh, my blood pressure is, you know, low, or I don't know the numbers off the heart, but you're saying it's low. It's, your readings could be wrong. So make sure that you're reading this. And also, my doctor told me to do a reading in the morning do a reading after I eat. And what was interesting is uh, my doctor also told me to do a reading when I'm standing up uh, because there are some vacillations in, well, excuse me, my heart rate was vacillating when I stood up. And they're not sure why that my heart rate was doing what it was doing and my blood pressure was actually dropping when I stood up. So definitely learn how to do this the correct way. Like I said, I'm not gonna give a demonstration. I just wanna do some awareness because I know of some people who are not here today. And this is one of the reasons why their blood pressure is high and they just pretty much had a massive heart attack. And uh, 
had a friend years ago, 20 or so years ago, who was overweight, and she died of a massive heart attack. And I uh, just want to give people on that, yo, I don't, it doesn't matter what color you are, it doesn't matter what gender you are, it doesn't matter where you're from, you can have high blood pressure even if you run your head off if you're a young athlete. We all know of students who have died because of massive heart attacks in their teens. So this is just my way of kind of doing some prevention. This is kind of get away. And it's 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 inexpensive. You know, thirty-five dollars is inexpensive. Get away. Uh, yeah, it could save your life. Okay, so there's that. And I am going to go ahead and pop the batteries in here, in the back. And uh, of course it tells you how to put the battery. Everything in here is pretty self-explanatory. So we're gonna figure out how to put batteries in here. Self-explanatory is pretty easy, pretty inexpensive to do it at home system but well, most of us are not professionals we, we really are. so that's why I want to reiterate seek your doctors uh, help or call up a hospital that has an ask a nurse uh, out here we used to have one and I'm not going to name the hospital but they used to have a great program called ask a nurse and you could just call up and ask a nurse they don't have that anymore, and they need to bring that back because it was uh, it was very important. A lot of people go to WebMD or you know and start self-diagnosing themselves because they think they have this, that, and third. That's fine, but you can pretty much go overboard, and next thing you know, you think you have something you don't, and your brain is saying, "Oh, you have it," and you're really okay. I'm gonna wrap this up. I just wanted to show you that it works there's a memory on here also basically you just push the start button there's a memory button and there's going to be a reading like i said i'm not going to use it right now but there's going to be a reading that comes out and so on and so forth anyway it's your boy tone stay healthy stay alive